Hey Sunshines, it's Christy and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have my Israel pack for the month of June. Now this is a lifestyle box and it is shipped directly from Israel. This is the second time I've opened it and I'm not super embarrassed to tell you that in the first box we got the most amazing jar of olives and I ate them in one sitting. <laughs> they were so good. So this box is really meant to bring Israeli culture into our homes to educate us about what they eat, maybe their day-to-day life, things from artists in the area, and I think that is so interesting. Now, I do open boxes that are super budget-friendly, as low as $5. This one's on the opposite end of the spectrum. I'm trying to show you a lot of different boxes. This one is $99. I do have to say, I just personally shipped a box to Australia, and it cost me $83. So I think the price probably reflects some of that shipping, which I understand if you're paying for something to come from a long way, you're gonna have some shipping sort of included, I think. Anyway, I did receive this box for review. We're gonna open it up and see what we think. I do think that if you can't afford this monthly, it would make an amazing gift. If you have friends or family that have traveled to Israel or have always dreamed of going to Israel, I think this would make an amazing, like my grandparents, if they were still alive, they would have loved this box maybe as a holiday gift. So anyway, let's go ahead and open it and see what is inside. All right, so when you get the box, it does come wrapped in this sort of paper, this plastic, and then it looks like this. Very cute, and it says, open the door to Israel. And then, oh, there's a lot of papers on the top. All right, so um, let's see what's in here. This says, your summer vacation in Israel catalog. Discover the products and creators. So this wasn't in the first one. This is a new box. So they're finding their feet, their footing. Oh, interesting. So they wrote a page about each item and where it came from and sort of the history. I like that. And then this, what is this? Wow. It says, your summer vacation in Israel. So it sort of gives you a map. Isn't this interesting? And then it gives you um, global pandemic, maybe closing the skies, but there's no reason you can't still enjoy a trip around Israel. Here at the Israel Pack, we've put together a trip of a lifetime just for you. Discover the products we've handpicked for you this month and enjoy a north to south tour of Israel. I'll help you learn more about our beautiful country and may even help you plan your next visit when everything gets back to normal. This is so cool. So if you have somebody that loves to travel, look at the amount of detail they put into this. You don't see this in a lot of boxes, I have to say. I'm impressed with this. All right, and then after you've taken everything out, this is what it looks like. This is Israel Pack. All right. Sorry this box is going up a little bit late. I just couldn't get it up in June, so I apologize. All right, when you open it up, it says, oh gosh, they totally changed the way they did this. So everything is hand wrapped. This says, don't judge me by my cover. Just because I'm made from upcycled materials doesn't mean I'm not an art piece. Original eco-friendly artwork featured in Tel Aviv Illustration Week. Okay, so let's open this up. It's like a postcard or something maybe it says new arrival trashition okay i'm not 100 percent sure what this is about hmm i'll look through the book in a minute i'll just open a few things and then we'll find that so that's interesting, but I don't know exactly what we're supposed to do with it. Okay, the next thing says, smell me and I will show you the golden city of Jerusalem. This soap is inspired by the song Jerusalem of Gold, an unofficial anthem of Israel. Okay. Oh, it's so pretty. So it short, sort of shows Israel in the soap. It's. I wonder if this is what smells so good. This is it. When you open this box, it's so fragrant, and this is what it smells like. It's really, really fresh. It smells del delightful, okay? The next thing, it says, read with me, and I will become your favorite book's best friend. This bookmark was created by an Israeli artist in collaboration with the Israel Museum, which features the most extensive holding of biblical and Holy Land 
archaeology. I really want to take a trip to the Holy Land. As a Christian, I believe it's the Holy Land, um, and I would love to go one day. Oh, this is beautiful. This is so pretty. This is going right in my Bible. Isn't that pretty? It's like metal, I think. Okay. The next item, it says, eat me guilt-free berry candies, natural, delicious, and sugar-free. Nothing but the real fruit and vegan friendly. Okay. So these are exotic fruit snacks. Y'all know I have to eat it. I have to try it. Oh, it looks like this. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. That's really good. That's really good. Mmm. These would be good in muffins, actually. They're really soft. Okay. The next item in here says, sprinkle me on everything and I will add an amazing and authentic Israeli zest to any dish you cook. Okay. Zatar. Holy hyssop from the land of the Bible. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, let me open this box or book and see what it says about a couple of these items. Okay, so here's the fruit snacks. Apple concentrate, raspberry concentrate, gooseberry concentrate. I think that's what I'm um, tasting. Banana pectin, natural extracts, lemon juice. Those were really good. Okay, and then let's see what it says. Okay, this is the um, Zatar. It's a spice mixture that has been popular in the Middle East for centuries. A typical Middle Eastern breakfast to this day consists of bread dipped in olive wood and Zatar. This spice is a multi-purpose spice that can be used to enrich flavor and aroma of many types of dishes. It's excellent for salads, soups, meats, white cheeses, eggs, pizza. Hmm. Okay, I can't wait to try that. And it actually tells the story of this company. All right. The next one is apply me to your cuticles. This oil treatment will bring the nail salon to you. Naturally rich in minerals, it will keep your cuticles moisturized and stimulate healthy nail growth. All right. It's like Christmas because we unwrap like everything called Bio Spa Nail Hardener. I always need that. I have like the softest nails. My nails are growing because I take a nail vitamin, but they're still really soft. So I like the nail hardener. Okay. This says, apply me to your nails and I will bring you a little joy. Dreaming about a manicure during quarantine. This, oh, this nail hardener. Did we get another one? Did she put two in here? Hold on. Oh, no, this is something different. This is an oil treatment. Okay, so one is a nail hardener and one is an oil treatment for your nails. Nice. And my cuticles do get dry, so the oil treatment will be nice. Okay. Gosh, this box is packed. This one says, eat me. I think those are my favorite open. Guilt-free peanut butter chocolate cookies. Your taste bud will confuse this healthy snack for a dessert. Low sugar, low carb, and high in protein. Okay. Oh my heavens, those look delicious. Peanut butter and chocolate cookies. Yum. That looks delicious. Okay, I'm gonna save these for an after dinner treat. All right, there's still more in here. The next thing says, wear me and I will protect you with style. Oh, a face mask from Tel Aviv fashion designer turns hygiene into cultural expression. I love getting face masks. I feel like we are always constantly losing them and I believe I'm on the camp that we all need to wear them. I know not everybody is and that is okay. We're not gonna get political here. I'm just saying for myself. Um, oh, this is pretty. Oh, I like this because I think even like Dawson would wear this. Emma would wear this. I would wear this. It's really pretty. It's sort of tropical, isn't it? And it's got red. Yeah, it fits great. 
Nice. I love the color on it. That was a fun thing to put in there. I think very timely. And I love that it was a from one of their designers. Okay, and then the next thing in here, and this is the last thing, says eat me. This is the most biblical snack because it's made up of only two ingredients, and both of them are mentioned in the Bible multiple times. Dates and almonds. I love dates. This is Tamar, Tamar, 100% almond paste. Oh, these look so good. Oh, these look so good. <laughs> look at those. <gasps> I want to try one of these too. I'm saving the chocolate peanut butter for after dinner, but I definitely want to. Oh, they're individually wrapped. I love almond anything. Almond extract in anything is so good. I can't open this. Okay. They look like this. Mmm. Mmm. I always associate dates with the Laura bars because they always have dates in them. Mmm. Mmm. That is delicious. Like sweet, but not too sweet. It's like the perfect dessert. I'm going to look through this really quickly. I want to eat the rest of that, but I'm going to look through this really quickly and see if there's anything interesting in here that we want to share. So these are from a local bakery, the chocolate peanut butter guys, and that's the family that owns the bakery. This sort of has a, a little bit of a um, globe in feel, I feel like, in that they're showing you like the different artists. Almonds are the product of Galilee. This is a tar, I don't know if I'm saying that right. The nail hardener from the Sea of Spa. It says, the first week, do not apply polish. Apply the nail grip layer in the morning and one in the evening. The second week, apply, apply the polish as the base strengthens every two or three days. So it actually gives you exactly how to use the nail stuff. It has sea buckhorn oil. I hear a lot about that lately. Olive oil, carrot oil, wheat germ oil, pomegranate, aloe vera, avocado oil. So this has got a lot of really healthy products in it. Here's the soap, and there's the artist who made the soap. I wish I could read all their stories. The face mask, look at those beautiful face masks, and that's the uh, fashion designer who made them. I really like the one I got because I feel like my whole family would wear it. Handcrafted postcard, so this was a postcard. It's interesting, but I don't know honestly what I will do with it. This is the one thing in the box that I was like, hmm. <laughs> Um, let's see what else. And then we have the bookmark. Very cool. This unique bookmarks are made in collaboration with the Israel Museum of Jerusalem. Very cool. All right, so that was my box. What did you guys think? Did you like it? Can you think of someone that you might like to gift this to? Are you interested in a trip? overseas to Israel like I am, let me know in the comments below. If you're stopping by for the first time and like this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you soon guys. Bye-bye.